Hello and welcome. This is Ruth and I'm back with the Tonic Studios showcase and this is the garden greetings one and you've probably already seen my other video that showed you the make that I had done for the launch of this one but this is the day before the launch and I just have a few moments. I've been actually out in the garden and I've just come in and I thought I would love to try this with some mixed media stuff as well and try something slightly different with it. So I've got my die set ready. I have taken an A2 size card here and I've cut some paper from the Mariposa Moments just to fit on top of that. So now I'm going to take some ink. Now I have picked out soft suede. I'm sure several different types of ink would be good for this but I've just got some on my dauber here and I'm going to come around and just to stress the edge of this. There we are. And now I want to take this. Now I've already tried some of the sprays and things out on this piece of scrap card. And I want to add some onto here. So I've got a little box there that I do my spraying in just to keep my desk nice and clean. But what I've picked out is some mica mist and this one is um, wild olive. Now I really just want to spray that lightly on top and I've also got some sparkle spray here and this one is blush burst. So I'm going to add both of those onto the top of this just very very lightly to add a little bit of extra detail to this and I'll just put them inside this box. I'll need to clean the nozzle right away with that so that it doesn't block but that only takes a minute or two and um, then I'll dry this. I've got some double sided tape on the back of that and now I'm going to just put that on here and uh, stand up to do that. I actually did the very thing that I was trying to make a point of not doing. I've put the text on upside down. I actually don't think it matters too much because there's so much of it covered. And then I have got some other things to put onto it as well. So I've then taken this die and the circle die. And I've cut out this shape here with the little fence on the bottom. And I've just chopped a little bit off because I didn't want all of it. I just want to put that on there. And I went parallel to the edge of that so I know that's kind of straight. And um, I'll just glue that on there and then I'll come back and do the rest. taken the little mushroom die and I have made a little template with that. I've just cut it through there. I can use the little mushroom for something else but I want to use this to stencil with. So I've got some beautiful glacier paste here and this one is called frosted birch and I'm just going to go and put some through this. And just before that is completely dry then I'm going to add some glitter on. This is ivory sands but again you can use whatever colour you like. Now 
I have used the scrap piece of card that I tried these colours out on first of all and I've cut some things out of them and I know this little birdhouse is actually supposed to go in here or it would look, look really well in there but I've die cut it from that and I want it to go up here because I want the sentiment to go in here and it says from my garden to yours and I better remember that that's not properly dry yet so I don't want to stick my thumb in it. also cut out two little butterflies. Now when you cut this, this gives you the outside edge and then this gives you the inner one. So I have taken the inner little butterflies. I've got the outer ones here but I'm actually just going to poke these pieces out. I was going to keep them in but I think I'll just poke them out with my little pokey tool and um, add those on. And on this one as well. I thought it might look nice with those pieces left in, but I've just decided to go and take them out. But that's the thing, when you're making the cards, sometimes you just change your mind and go with the flow. So that will go in there. And I've still got these two outer edges. Now, because they're kind of outlines and rather than actual butterflies, I think I'm going to put them on like this and maybe just nip off the top edges of them and have them looking more like a pattern on the card. See, like that. I really really love this glacier paste and I want to add a little bit more of it so possibly even a little bit more glitter but I don't want it sort of uniformly on there and I've just taken one of the Nouveau paint brushes and I'm going to add some around the edges here it's just for a little bit of something extra on there I'm just going to finish that off with some malted milk gloss crystal drops. So I always put a little drop out first of all to make sure there's no air bubbles in it and then I'll go ahead and add some here. And that's it. Didn't that turn out well? Now that's totally, totally different to the last card, but I hope you like that too. And it's, it's a different way just of incorporating a lot of the other things that you may have in your stash. So thanks very much again for watching. Don't forget, if you have liked it, give the video a thumbs up at the bottom. And don't forget, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I'd love you to do that as well. And hit the notification bell. And next time there's a video, you'll be the first to see it. And I'll put all my links for these, and most of those will be affiliate down at the bottom of the video in case you're interested in any of that stuff as well. Um, I get a little commission from the affiliate links but it won't cost you anything extra so you don't need to worry about that but I do appreciate it so thank you very very much and until the next time bye!